In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to upgrade your FreeSky Tyrannus to OpenTX 2.0. And so recently, I downloaded this Firefly 6 Pro model. When I try to restore it into my Tyrannus, you can see that it says incompatible. So this is long overdue, and I want to demonstrate the process uh, to go through an older version of OpenTX. And I'll show you right here, I'll long press menu, go to page four, and you can see that I'm running version 1.1.02. Now this is sort of a free sky variant of OpenTX and I want to go to OpenTX 2.0. And now the newer version of Companion 9X doesn't allow me to back up my EEPROM and my model files just because this is a version 1.0 firmware. So what I basically do is I go through each one and I'll back them up and what that does is it'll store it to the SD card. I've already done this and let me just show you when I try to restore you can see all of my models listed here. So I know those are safely backed up and I can proceed with the firmware update. The first thing that I'll do is download OpenTX. This is version 2.0.13. Now, .15 is currently available, but unfortunately the link to download it for the Mac is broken. So what I'll do now is I'll just download and install 2.0.13 as well as the DFU util for your Mac. If you're on a PC, you don't need to worry about that, but Mac users, you'll want to be able to link that up so that you can flash your transmitter. So we have it downloaded. I'll go ahead and run it. And with my Tyrannus turned off, I'll go ahead and connect via USB from the transmitter to my Mac. Now with our Tyrannus connected and turned off, I'll go ahead and read the firmware to a file. So I'll just call it Tyrannus old firmware. I'll save that. You'll notice that the DFU util will pull that down and save it. And just to reiterate what I stated earlier, this is where you would do a backup of settings and models. So to do that, if I were to click save, you'll notice that it says if you have a Tyrannus that has not had the firmware upgraded to 2.0, then this version of Companion will not work. So that's why I manually backed up all my model files. And what I'll do next is I'll click this download button. You can see the latest version of the firmware is 2.0.15. And then I'll go ahead and click download firmware. And we'll just save it to our same folder. So what you'll see now is our old firmware that we just did the backup with and the new one that we just downloaded. Okay, so next we'll go ahead and click the right firmware to radio. I'll browse for the file. We'll use this 2.0.15 bin file we just downloaded. Then I'll click right to TX. And you can see that our DFU util is writing the firmware to the radio. So the latest version of the firmware has been written to the Tyrannus. We'll go ahead and unplug our USB cable. I'll go ahead and turn the Tyrannus on. Now you'll probably see this EEPROM warning and it says press any key to continue. I'll go ahead and do that. Now you can see that it's doing the conversion of the EEPROM. And now that is done. I'll go ahead and click and hold menu. We'll go to page four. And now you can see that we're on Tyrannus version 2.0.15. Let's go to our models and just check that we see all of them. Yep, they're there. And what I'll do is I'll go back to the slot 14 and now I'll go ahead and try to reload this Firefly 6 Pro model. And you can see that it shows up nicely there. Just to double check, I'll go ahead and set this model. I'll select it. And what I'll do now is I'll just slide the switch and we should hear a little voice file that tells us we go from hover to flight. Forward flight mode. Hover mode. So that tells us our sounds are loading okay. Let's just take a quick look at some of our channels. And you can see that these are all set up as provided from bird's eye view. So everything looks good with this Tyrannus firmware upgrade. So I just wanted to share that process. Just a huge thanks to the OpenTX software community for what those guys are doing. Definitely excited about getting this Firefly 6 Pro set up in the air. I'll continue to share that. Hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, comments, or even suggestions, please post them below. And until next time, Thanks for watching.